Welcome back everyone to Let's Play World Waves 3 as Germany episode number 50. Half a century of episodes already, my goodness. Well, we're in the middle of this battle. It's been probably a little bit over a week even since uh, the last episode went up. Let's get another one out there. It might be another slow one. Uh, I mean, it might be another uh, shortish one. Uh, you know, Rule the Waves, I just, I need to find my fighting spirit. And I feel like I'm close to that, by the way. I feel like I'm close because I have been making a lot of progress on the Auto Resolve Simulator. Um, it's reading ship files now perfectly. This is all done. I don't know why again, I did it in my third language I've worked with for Rule the Waves mods. But, you know, it's all fun. It's a, a hobby project. You know, good to develop those skills, I suppose. So actually, I see that it's up... Uh, in my taskbar right now. Anyway, um, in this battle, we're doing all right. We've actually done, I would say, better than all right. Well, uh, but we're now at the point where we're, where the the scales might start tipping against us, and it's probably time for us to bail out. Of course, part of the bailout process is sending as many destroyers to their <clears throat> um, towards the enemy in a valiant and not purely sacrificial but you know potentially sacrificial <laughs> yeah who am i kidding they're all gonna go and die but if we can kill at least one battleship for every 12 destroyers that we lose then those are the odds you know some of you may die and that's a sacrifice i'm willing to willing to take well it looks like this guy got lucky oh please tell me by the way that's interesting that's way down there you're sinking so don't please don't tell me you're sinking that's i don't want to hear that here's another one you guys are launching torpedoes don't okay, so gotta figure out which ones it is um yeah actually you can start gearing your way over here a little bit you have plenty of torpedoes left okay good to know um you're still probably trying to you know, uh, pincer that guy, get him on both sides. These guys are just going in. Where's the nearest French or, I mean, uh, French or British ship? Yeah, okay, a lot of these sunk ships I remember now. I mean, it said it right here, convoy defense, but more than that, you can see all the dead bodies, <laughs> which were our transports that, you know, somebody pointed this out in the comment section. I thought this was very funny. Despite having an enormous fleet, perhaps the biggest fleet I've ever brought into a World Waves battle, and having a convoy pretty close by, we somehow didn't protect the convoy and managed to let the combined forces of an enormous German, I mean, sorry, a British and French fleet get closer to the convoys that we're trying to protect. How that happened, I don't know. Questions to be answered probably after the battle. Oh, good, so... Where, where, who are you guys firing at? Would you like to reveal your... You probably need to go another minute before you decide who you're firing at? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, but again, we probably are just going to peel off and go. Oh, gosh, it is so hard to keep track of. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm seeing D16 taking a lot of hits, so... Whatever D16 was trying to do, I don't even know what group D16 belongs to. Are they supposed to have a flag? Can I see... Do you, like, report your division? I've never tried to do it this way before, but... Ah, yes, division. There it is. Okay, uh, six destroyer division with G12 currently in charge, but you have two torpedoes. We're just gonna see what you can possibly fire at since I'm not sure you're going to make it another turn. And there we go, just launch some in that direction. Perfect. <laughs> Couldn't go any better. <laughs> All right, you're relieved of your duty. Go to the division here. I've, by the way, never used this division button, but boy, that this is one situation where it is useful. Now, I'd like another button, which is go to ship. Do we have such a thing? Maybe not. All right, well, somewhere in here. Wait, G10? Is that you? No, it's S. 
16 and G12. There is another way I can do it. Another way, there it is, G12, okay. Yeah, well then just stay the course, keep going. Um, S16's gonna, you know, probably not gonna make it all the way home with you. Probably not, I mean, what's well, being very generous by saying only probably not. It, it is, has been deemed very unlikely, <laughs> her chances of success. Okay, uh, let's see, you launched some torpedoes. Actually, those look pretty good, well done. And you don't have any left, you've now broken off, you have 80%, 40% damage. Look, if we can get you home, I don't mind attempting it. G10 is probably also taking, yeah, some damage now. So she has six torpedoes, which we would hate to go to waste. So let's just fire into the fray. You know what? Let's just get a hit on that Liberté. I'm not even sure which, um, whoa, that's a big one. Yeah, we'll definitely take a hit on that one. If you can land it, that would be spectacular. We have this division still closing in. I'm, I'm letting them close in. If I go to squad max, probably down, but we'll just keep pumping it. Get as close as we can. We should also be looking at, yeah, maybe pulling our cruisers back a little bit at this point. They've done a great job. No reason to, to overcommit the, the cruisers. I think we may even pull back a few destroyers for a second wave. Um, at some point, I'm expecting all their battleships are gonna turn away. And we have the advantage of this time that we can just saunter on down to the south. That's what we'll be doing. Nope. Accidentally clicked on a merchantman just to find out that their fate, not too big of a surprise, is that they're sinking. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, wow, okay. Well, the last thing the S-16 is, gets to see before she abandons ship is that one of her two torpedoes has found its target against the Bjarn. And the, this is not a super heavily armed dreadnought. I suspect that it just basically this has a dreadnought like you can see whole form to it or whatever. But is this backwards? That's the conning tower. This is the front. Huh. Fascinating. They went with, uh, they probably had um, rear super firing, but no forward super firing. Anyway, yeah, so that, um, all I wanted to take away from that point is that the torpedo defense on this is probably not great. And the fact that it's 20 knots, I guess somebody already pointed this out as well, because they're using the rear. Um, are you allowed to use the rear? And you just can't use both Y and, and I don't remember what it was exactly, but anyway, doesn't matter. Um, I don't think their torpedo defense is very high, and we could probably we could probably get a little bit more information um, if I was to study it and to know everything very well. But I don't, and we're not gonna. We just won't spend that much time either. Good to see that we are at least taking a few of the French destroyers with us, because we God knows we're gonna lose a few destroyers here. That was all part of the plan, though. I mean, it's all part of the plan that. If we can just nab a few of their um, capital ships, it'll be worth it. This is our light cruiser division, so you are turning back. It looks like a destroyer, but it's just a very advanced... Oh no, don't fire torpedoes. Oh, we might even want to lay smoke. That's probably not a bad idea, just get everyone laying smoke. It will increase our chances of survival. Um, it will decrease their chances of hitting. We'll wait one minute on these guys, probably just deploy the smoke right afterwards. Okay, we got a hit on the four bin, which is not who we intended to land a hit on. Those torpedoes, well, one of them might look good. And probably this is the right time for us to um, torpedo at the Galois, knowing that she's gonna continue her turn and we'd be actually aiming at the Liberté. That is what I predict. Actually, we probably want to aim at the Liberté because then that those will end up hitting the other ones. But anyways, we'll just throw a few on in there just to clutter up the waters with torpedoes. That's all good. And uh, you guys can start deploying smoke now. 
You have no torpedoes left. You might as well head this way. I mean, you're probably landing. You're probably the one landing. No, you're actually shooting at the capital ship, which is. I mean, I give them credit for. <laughs> they get some style points, some boldness points. Probably not the most effective use of their weaponry. Although we did see from what was that? Uh, Leyte Gold, not like um, the Samar Island. I I don't know the. Taffy three, <laughs> whatever battle that was. Those were some pretty good use of, well, those were also five inch guns. We have three inch guns, so there's, there's a bit of a difference. Okay, uh, I scroll over here just to give you an idea of what I'm, what's going on in Tortuga's brain. I scroll over here and I kind of see a whole lot of things that I just don't want to mess with really. I think that we're okay if we just at this point focus on our destroyers, which is a lot easier to do as well. Is there any reason why you're not exactly sure why you were on AI control? Okay, so V67 is also getting pummeled here right after she launched all of her torpedoes, I believe. She has 97% damage, which means, you know, not a great chance that she's going to survive this. And oh no, the Liberté didn't get hit at all. And the Galois is like just... Wow, somehow navigating through that. Okay, just keep on going. Turn in a little bit more. We have some guys up here getting hit. G9, how bad? Turret destroyed. Well, we, we really don't care about those turrets anyhow. So just keep staying the course, pushing on. Squad max, good. Go up to 31 then. And you push back, well, what are you doing? I'm not sure what some of my destroyers are doing. We'll try to get the rest of them. Yeah, I mean, these guys are actually a good candidate for our, our bigger guys to go after. And even our littler guys to go after. But yeah, these battleships, I think that, yeah, and they are changing target, that's perfect. Okay, let's go up to squad max, I think that's, <laughs> At this point, we can establish that squad max is a good thing to do. Some destroyers, which I am going to bring up and just get them to um, slowly move to the west. We'll probably call them in. I'm not sure, though. Some of these guys. Ah, oh, Galois, finally. We got some kind of hit. And that looks pretty good. I'm not sure how long those are going to travel for. All right, you're down, but not out. Out of torpedoes, maybe, but otherwise not out. And you are staying the course. Pushing, yeah, we have some other battleships, some British battleships that have decided to show up. Just gonna push on as hard as we can for as long as we can. You are torpedoless, you are not, so we'll push you on in. And you are solo? No, nope. you have two in tow, a little bit further behind. And these guys are all here, and there's another set of destroyer. I mean, there's just there's ships everywhere, right? Which <laughs> we're just charging on in. That this is the good old Tortuga tactic. I think this is probably what what has made me famous. <laughs> I mean, I don't know about famous. It's, uh, I've acquired the reputation, probably that, that's what I should say. I have acquired a reputation based on the thing which I am doing right now, which is um, two things really. One is uh, probably getting a lot of bang for my buck, torpedoing battleships, and the other thing is getting a lot of destroyers killed. Why not both, right? Oh my goodness, irresistible. Oh yes. 35,000 ton ship that we just, 10 16 inch guns. Very unlikely we're gonna sink her, but I'm very happy to be putting torpedoes into her. Whoo, Nelly. And that Liberty Day looks like we might finally get one. Next round is gonna be the important one. Look at, you gotta make some speed so you can just get out of here. Not really, huh? Okay, fine, well, you win. Are you just solo? Okay, no wonder you can't go faster. And you are sinking. 
you probably can't go faster either. <laughs> you guys are in it. And you are, we're gonna have you deploy smoke. These guys are deploying smoke, right? Yeah. And you should be deploying smoke as well. Ah, not even worth the time to take it off. They don't have any torpedoes launched, so it's, it's meaningless to do that. Ah, same thing here, but that's fine. You can deploy smoke. Just gotta cycle these guys on. Okay, let's look, let's wait, let's watch. One? Well, that's not what I was expecting. <laughs> uh, they, they got the wrong one. <laughs> okay, well, um, I think at this point, 100% with torpedoes available, no. Must launch, must launch. Hmm. <coughs> well, technically, she's still making speed, which means we have one turn to try to rotate our ship. I don't know, man. Which way do we rotate? With the Majestic turning that way, I suspect that they're going to keep turning. So let's try to rotate this way. Yes, very good. X-16 was just hit by another torpedo. You actually survived, by the way. Yeah, let's do that. And can we go actually go for this guy as well? Just put a whole bunch of torpedoes in the water, going that way. You're relieved of your command, thank you. By relieved of your command, I'm, I really mean more that you're gonna be relieved of your ship momentarily. All right, let's see if we can get a few torpedoes out this way. Again, if we can aim at the Bjarn here, then we have a high chance of hitting... I'm not sure if that's true. Well, let's see what the angle is for the Liberty. So two, 325, 325 versus 329. I don't know. Good question, this is 323 now should be leading them even more. And the, the yarn is 324. So they're really the same thing. I guess I'll stick with the 324, sure, a 328 and 322, perfect. That's a nice spread. So hopefully we get some lucky, some lucky in there. So you can actually turn southward a little bit to get S53 a little bit more into the action. We also have S63 coming up these guys are, the Liberté and the Bayard over here are like, we gotta get the hell out of here. I don't blame them. Okay, just really chase the stern of that division a little bit more. You guys are good. And yeah, it's just comical that the, the <laughs> French are, I guess these guys are done for anyway, but you know, a lot of torpedoes. Let's not have you launch any. That's another thing I would like almost, is uh, maybe some option to turn off automatic torpedo launching in captain's mode, because <laughs> just know we can, we can do a little bit better than they can. Okay, so that's in good shape, that's in good shape. This is a little problematic. And I think we go. Oh my goodness, that is, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I love it. That's actually looking pretty good for the Liberté. And S-53 wait a little bit. S-63 wait a little bit. They're turning north, which could be good for these guys up here. In fact, the Majestic looks like it's a just a golden opportunity. So just put everything into that. No, I want something to lead a little bit more, would be great. 178, I guess I could do 178. Yeah, they aren't gonna give me 177, so yeah, 178. Oh my God, I was thinking the wrong way. Ah, my, my brain, my poor brain. 
should have been doing one. What we wanted was like 184. <laughs> well, okay, we're I guess effectively we're aiming at the next one in line, <laughs> which is not a bad decision. The majestic. Should be easier to sink and get actually strategic points out of this. Okay, those two, those two, this one, these guys, <laughs> the left behind. Okay, the Galois was hit, the Majestic was hit, the Galois was hit, G9 is sinking. G9, where are you? Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, well, just in time, man. We got your torpedoes off. And they're looking true. Probably not going to hit the next Majestic, that's for sure. Okay, we'll just keep going. We'll be able to get the second Majestic um, after they complete their turn. Alright, S-53 is in as good of a position that as they're ever going to be. With their six torpedoes. Oh, wow, it's this kind of six torpedoes situation. Um, let's take one swing at the Liberty as well. Just to put one in that direction. We'd have to swing all the way back around to get our other tubes into play. I don't think we're going to do that. But she's about to, she's, I mean, look at that. She's got to take some hits. Hopefully more than one. I haven't really been keeping track, but we should also be paying attention to, it should, but haven't been, but should be paying attention to the fact that the gun duel has begun. And we're, uh, we're starting off very well. Well, kind of. It looks like they are also firing and striking. Uptakes have been perforated. Um, well, I think that's okay. We landed a 13 inch and a 16 inch on them. Let's see what they actually are firing at us. 14 inch shells, okay, so not, not the worst. I mean, I like this engagement. I mean, I'll definitely take an engagement where my big, beefy dreadnoughts are going up against their less beefy battle cruisers. As that that's a winning engagement in my eyes. It looks like a lot of these guys are not um, set to launch torpedoes. You have none more to launch. You guys, I guess, have no more to launch at this point. Oh, you have two more. Wow. Well, I wonder if I can do anything fancy like, can I detach either of you guys? No, okay, well, we'll just wait until we can detach one of them and then we can split them off. One guy will go home and the other, the S-53 will go get her other tubes engaged. All right, let's watch this. We got two things to watch. Okay. What? Only one? Okay, good. It's, it's appearing before our eyes. Three. Majestic. Two. Three. Bjarn. <laughs> that was it. That was the turn right there. That was the turn. Okay. All right. We have, we have done it. This is, this is what we wait for. This is always what we're hoping will happen. It has happened. The destroyers have come through in spades. Really, really, really job well done. Now you're out of the fight, G9. Why are you not like detached? Like G9, you shouldn't even be in the fight. Yeah, I mean, you're sinking. I'm not sure why, why I have to do this, but the, okay. yes, <laughs> detach yourself and send yourself to the nearest port. That would be wonderful. Um, you have five torpedoes, and I think that you have a shot on this Majestic, which is probably just about to... Look at that. She's dead in the water already. Forget it. Let's lead. The next one, so 190, 189. We'll try to do 192 or something like that would be nice. Perfect. Okay, those are three torpedoes out. We'll continue, though. We'll push on a little bit further. Um, you're going to wait a little bit. You're probably going to end up chasing after these guys, in fact, since we can go after the BR, if nothing else. 
Oh man, it's glorious. The torpedo swarm is, I mean, the Tortuga destroyer torpedo swarm is just, it's a force to be reckoned with. It's so good. It's so effective. Sean Nicole, I should be playing, should be playing as the French. Anyway, that was very good. Um, let's go one more turn. By the way, I guess we should check out the log and that, that thing I just said about trying to keep an eye on how the battlecruiser gun duel is going. Uh, yeah, the five inch guns that I talked about, apparently we do have them and they are hitting. I do like seeing the fact that there's these double um, pound signs, hash symbols, whatever you want to call them. This was not good though, another hit on the Vater August. Cause you see majestic hit like that just and but then you see five inch guns and you're just like nah that's probably not going to matter that much well i guess we are trading fire we can always pull the front one off a little bit more and let the yeah the second group engage a little bit you know get a little closer we still have our destroyers who are should be starting to work their way up so what are you doing I don't know, but let's change it to be something else. What that? Okay, no torpedo hits that time. S63 must have got pummeled because she's no longer controllable. That's fine. We'll just launch torpedoes. Wait, do we have torpedoes? Oh yeah, she has four torpedoes left. Wait, are those? Can we access those? We can. Um, the Bjarn is in there. That's probably the target I would like to aim at, considering the Galois looks like she might end up taking another hit or two. You guys are still, yeah, that's the whole thing. Oh, not quite out of torpedoes. And we can't detach. We might have to send them both back in, which will really suck for S31, having done her job. <laughs> And live to tell the tale. <laughs> anyway, I uh, we'll probably just need to do a turn together here to keep them all together. Oh yeah, I mean this is so good. More torpedoes coming down over there. You have no more torpedoes. You can just turn back away then. Wait, wait, no, wait. It's just you. It is just you. Yeah. Then you can't wait. Are you sinking? No. Only forty-seven percent. Not bad at all. Hard to keep track of who's who at the moment. You are sinking. Okay, so you're the one I don't really care too much about. And you are... Yeah, you're going to chase these guys. We also have a mirror... Whoa! Well, that's a target. 35,000. They're all targets, man. There's targets everywhere. They just insanely outnumber us in terms of strategic... I mean, battleships. Anyway, I really want to go another turn because we got two, another set of torpedoes. Oh, that. Okay. One. B25 is just has been uh, just annihilated. And she has six torpedoes. No. Well, let's see where we can launch. Oh, heck yeah. Can we get the Bayard? No, that one's out of arc. Oh, we can get one at the Bayard. That's, we'll do that. 339. I think the lower the better. 337, I'll take that. Okay, cool. Very good. Um, good goodbye, sweet, good night, sweet prince. I think we'll just try to run north on this. That'll probably turn them back to the west a little bit. I don't remember sending you like this, and you have no torpedoes. Oh yeah, I, I was trying to spin you around. I didn't realize you were going that fast. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, we, at least we got another hit on uh, Liberté, which is this one, which may actually just be sinking already. That's a lot of hits. I think I'm just going to let these guys go. They, they did a great job. Led the attack, survived, lived to tell the tale. We'll let it happen. It's a good story. Good, good for a press release later. Recruit some more sailors. Okay, who's left in all of this? S 
S-16 was hit by another torpedo. She's dead in the water, or is she? All right, well, let's, let's launch some things here. I think let's make sure that she's going down. And I am a big fan of as low a number as you can give me, which I saw 300. I'll take a 299 if you can give it. Okay, I'll take 300. Okay, that's all those torpedoes out. Uh, you're solo? Nope. Part of the group. Yeah. <laughs> your your um, squad max is not impressive. We'll just peel this guy off directly, I think. Oh my god, they're both, they're both bad. All right, get out of here. And now, V4 still has torpedoes, so we're going in. I mean, we probably can be happy with what we've already gotten. Oh, V26 has just gotten some great position. Let's aim for the Liberté, because if they turn, we'll probably hit the Bayard. Now we're out of arc, okay, fine, 300. I like that better. Saw a 304. Okay, I'll take a 303. And that means you can peel off, you've done it. Oh, wait, nope, F-17 hasn't done it yet, so you guys are stuck in there until you get all this done. Can't believe it's already been 30 minutes. Just uh, takes a long time to do all this micromanagement. Oh, this guy. Oof. Two. Just two. Bjarn. Oh, a different Liberté. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's that's a pretty good spread. At this point, I can probably go and attach. She has 100% damage, you know, but she's still kicking. Hasn't gone down yet. Whew. This is a tough one. I think I want to go after that Mirabelle, actually. So we'll just stay the course, maybe turn a little bit. Who is left and who do I want to ha actually continue this attack? Is there anybody who should be continuing the attack? Like you have one, uh, yeah, two torpedoes. I mean, the torpedoes are going in. That one, that one's good. We have definitely landed a fair number here. I think the only thing I need to let, uh, left to do is to look at the mirror bow. Let's go back to the log and see how we're doing with this. Okay, good, we're still hitting. Looks like they're actually turning away. Um, let's go to 25 with you guys. This is probably not necessary. Although we could just go put some torpedoes in sinking ships, get the kills, make sure that they are confirmed. Okay, Liberté was hit by, my God. Oh my gosh. Was that all this one? Hopefully not. Okay, wow, one, two, three. All right, she's gone. Four on this one, which means that's 17. I should have been looking at how much this one was moving, but she really isn't moving very far, very fast. V26 is now sinking. She doesn't have any more torpedoes to, to offer for the, for the, yeah, for the fatherland. G8, it would be wonderful if you did, because boy, well, that Majestic is probably dead anyways. We know the Libertés are down, so we know we've, we can confirm we've at least gotten one Liberté. That might be all we've gotten out of that, though. Okay, V4 is now in charge. Don't, yeah, do not launch torpedoes right now. This Majestic, is she lagging? Did she take any hits? We have an Irresistible here, which is 35,000 tons. I feel like a submarine captain to a degree. Okay, that one's going down. This one, um, I, I may want to put another one into that, but they're probably not going to be moving very quickly. 
The Bayards just don't, I mean, just pale in comparison. Uh, why would I say that? 10, 16 inch guns, my God, they're, they don't pay, that's the other way around. These are actually, why did I think the Bayards, I actually thought, I guess just by their look, the Bayards look um, smaller, but this is 30,000 and that smaller volume, small, smaller surface area is actually 34,000. Oh boy, okay, well, um, what are you at? 35,000, why are you dead in the water? I think I need to send all my torpedoes after this mirror bow. I'm gonna keep chasing that. If this Liberté stops, then you know, that'll also be an, another option. Just have you keep sneaking in and you will just stay at the perimeter shepherding the, the group away. It's funny, these guys are way over there. I don't, I don't know how their smoke is going. Are they moving? <laughs> are they really moving? I don't know. My merchants, they're probably going after my merchants. Oh, we got a lot of forces up there, but you know, those to hell with those. We'll come back to them later. Okay, let's pay attention now. Okay, yeah. A Bjarn just got hit by a torpedo as well. Only one, but she's down to five knots. Doesn't look good. How how many ha, <laughs> how many Bjorn class torpedoes have we seen? Yeah, what, at least one other. I think it's the same one. Um, Bjorn three into the majestic. Another one to majestic. Galois took two. Dude, that Galois took two and is still steaming along. We got one in the Irresistible. I forgot about that. Another in the Galois. The Galois, how the hell is that thing still afloat? Another in Bjorn. A lot of these ships have taken a ton of torpedoes. The Irresistible might even take another one here. We see this. This is a, a nice looking barrage. The Galois is... Well, all their ships are modern. It's the problem because the war and the, I, I, I've been told, I don't know if this is true, I've been like, hasn't been corroborated, but they say that there is a makeup um, budget that people who lose wars get, which I'm not a big fan of, but, you know, out of all the, the things to do, <laughs> I, I mean, I guess it makes the game interesting, but it's not, I th that should be an option. Yeah, that's what I would like. I'd like it for it to be an option. Yeah, this thing is, it doesn't have two, it's missing two of its turrets. It's 23 knots, 31,000, 31,000, okay, okay. Okay, Aquitaine was also hit with another, I'm, I'm very happy to see that we're landing some hits. The G8 is getting pummeled, which it's funny that she's even alive. Maybe not, you know, poor choice of words. Probably not just funny <laughs> to her. Um, is this Liberté is still steaming? I think we're just gonna pop two into her. We gotta make sure that she doesn't survive. So let's put two in, the double tap. And then I think we have to line ourselves up here for uh, this mirror bow. Did we not? Okay, we did get her. Mirabal is actually going to be a tough call. We can guarantee this Liberté goes down. That's 30,000 tons of guarantee. I like that. Again, for the exchange of 1,100 tons, it's a quite a good ratio. That's 35 steaming on in here. B4 still has her torpedoes. Um, yeah, I would love to take a crack at somebody here. Although V4 is, she is taking some hits. Yarn is damaged. I think we gotta start nosing our way in and then release. So Majestic down, Liberté down, Liberté down. I don't think that we're gonna get this mirror bow. She's turned away and she's probably not gonna, she's probably not interested in coming back <laughs> towards our torpedoes. We'll wait one more turn. I think we, if we angle like this, I mean, I guess I can fire one hopeful barrage at her. And then we'll just fire the other one at the Liberté. 
which by the way, I'm not even sure if that's the correct way of pronouncing it, but and we'll just turn away. All our torpedoes being spent, make ourselves a slightly harder target, maybe survive for a couple extra turns. I should probably just put these guys on AI control when they're sinking so I know that they aren't controllable. It's a good idea. That way I don't have to remember it. <laughs> sink, sink, sink. <laughs> you are... are you? Can't tell. Ah, okay, whatever, you're probably sinking. You're definitely not, though. You might be a good candidate to go chase down the Mirabao. All right, let's turn on your AI control, even though technically you're not sinking yet, but you're also not. You're actually capable of moving. Okay, let's move you away then. Get this group down to cruise speed, I think, or maybe 20. Um, I don't want high speed to increase flooding and all that. It will for a little bit, but that's a. At some point, we don't want that. Conning tower hit on the S17. Yeah, just launch those torpedoes then. Let's do more. A Bayard got hit as well. Oh wow, that one over there, perfect. <laughs> it's just, we're just doing so much damage, so much damage. And those don't look true, but that's okay. Is she up to 10 now? No, she's still at five knots. If she stays at five knots, the S35 is definitely gonna catch her. Okay, so this is good. Um, we've had some guaranteed kills. I think I'll, I'll wrap this video up here. Good progress. Also, we have some form, some semblance of a, a plan to like, you know, go that way. Oh, you know what? We're going to divert the battle cruisers over to pick on this Mirabal. That is a good that that I like that plan. I like that a lot. I'm assuming that these guys are just sunk. Yeah, let's divert. Take some shots at the Mirabal. In fact, that's what I want this group. I think that they all yeah, they already are. I don't even have to tell them to do it. Good. We actually right on cue. I didn't notice this until now, but we actually hit with the 13-inch guns. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so this is good. Well, no, I mean, I want to run one more turn now that I know that we're hitting the mirror bow. Oh my goodness. Oh, those are... Okay, we're going, we're going one more. We got to figure it out. Is it going to work? Uh, so V4 is now sinking, which means that we need her to launch her torpedoes now. Well, I mean, you give me no choice, right? Just launch and make sure the Bjarn goes down. Yeah, launch to make sure the Bjarn goes down. You have no torpedoes, so let, yeah, you just execute reverse course here. Spin you away to the south, actually. And you are not sinking, but you off AI controlled really and try to get you yeah no I need AI control for the ones that I am um, are moving zero and because I want them to start moving as soon as they can did they just take off the AI control no, no I just couldn't get you last time okay good so you're sinking let's put you on AI control AI control you're actually okay just kind of <laughs> I don't know if 100% damage is okay but you're not sinking technically so, so that, yeah, but we didn't land another hit. I do want to wait one more turn. What was that for though? It's one motivation. Oh, is the torpedoes right next to him. Ah, dang it. Oh, we got him. <laughs> and we landed a, a hit, 16 inch guns and another hit, 16 inch guns and a hit on their destroyers too. Now, mind you, these guys are getting close-ish. Well, we have good screens, actually. They're gonna have a hard time getting close enough to actually launch. Okay, good, so this is, this is spectacular. What a great 
Great, great, great video. Great way the battle's gone for us so far. S35 closing in on the Mirabao now makes a whole lot more sense. She'll be peppered by some uh, fire. All the while, she's taken yet another torpedo. I still don't know, maybe it was from gunfire that I wasn't paying attention to, why she's going so slow to begin with. But man, we'd have, I mean, I think we have three, maybe four confirmed, confirmed kills, right? Uh, maybe another minute for her own. Yeah, she's turning back now. It seems like she knows that the S-17 is sinking. Maybe. That's a fearsome spread going at the Bjarn. Too bad the Irresistible is going to get away. I mean, we have nobody else really capable of pursuing her at the moment. And we're down to just a few ships. I mean, just a few destroyers left. Uh, you don't really need the turn together button since you're just solo on the group. Pull back a little bit. Ugh, oh, just one. Only one of those found its way, but that's okay. That's still, in my opinion, that's good enough. Just to get the confirmation that this thing is not going to be sticking around. We've done. A, I think we've done a very good job of the overkill, making sure that they aren't going to survive. We've seen that every now and then, where they, you know, the where is the battle taking place again? Basically, Jutland, right? It doesn't seem like there's any reasonable way for their ships to to limp back to port. We're pretty far away, depending on how quickly the the battle ends. But yeah, I'm having a hard time actually stopping because we're having I'm having so much fun. I mean, when it gets down to the point where you are just piling in the torpedoes, and taking down their capital ships, feels good. Feels good to have a bit, a, a nice victory like this. Bjarn with another torpedo hit too, just to further seal her fate. Okay, that is going to do it. Until the next one, thanks for watching. Stay safe and take care.